To truly understand the beauty of Bangkok, you have to be right in the middle of it. Just as the sporting superstars of badminton are right now in the thick of the action. It's the sport's most prestigious team competition and only four nations are left to fight for glory. So close and yet still so far. A very warm welcome to our continuing coverage of the 2022 Thomson Uber Cup. Here's what we have in store for you today on Court 1. Moments away from Thailand versus China in the Uber Cup semis and in the semis of the Thomas Cup, the first semi-final, India, Denmark, from 6 p.m. local time in the company of Jill Clark this evening. As you can imagine, there is a passionate home crowd in here to try and will their nation to victory. It is going to be a very, very tough ask against this uh, Chinese juggernaut. That was what happened yesterday in the quarterfinals. All three love, interestingly, Japan over Chinese Taipei, Korea over Denmark. And on our side of the draw, Thailand 3-0 winners over India and China coming through also 3-love against Indonesia. So that's what set us up for today's action. Finals tomorrow, by the way, and of course, that will be live. A little earlier on. Here were the hunters. Thailand! 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 If you think that was noisy, wait till you hear their fans later. A little more restrained from the Chinese. Here's our lineup. We have an explosive opener. Ratchanok Inzanon will have all the home support. She'll also have the thorny problem of Olympic champion Chen Yufei. It's unlikely to get any easier for the host nation in the doubles. Kitty Haurakul and Prejong Jai with the dubious distinction of facing world number one pair Chen and Jia. Just one place separates Pong Pawi Choshuong and Herbing Zhao in the rankings, but the Chinese starts favourite. She's already won two titles this year. Then, if required, the Amsad sisters will face Wang Pongping and Li Wenmei, the young ties with a 100% record in the event so far. And if it does go 2-2, Busanan Ongbanrungpan will meet Wang Ziyi for the third time in five weeks. It's one each so far. My name is Trevor Harris. Alongside me is Steen Pedersen. Of course, it's a tough ask for Thailand, Steen. Most experts believe that China will come through, but Thailand have to believe they've got a chance. They have to believe they have a chance, and uh, uh, they need a good start here from uh, Ratchin against And they did that four years ago when she defeated Chen Yufei for the very first time in uh, their careers. So let's see if she can live up to that. Yeah, the two wins that Interon has had in the previous 15 meetings were both that year, the one you mentioned, and also in the World Tour Finals. So she knows she can be, but obviously that was four years ago, and, and Chen Yufei's come on a bit since then. She has. She's won the uh, Uber Cup title in 2021 in Aarhus, Denmark. She's more experienced now. She won the Olympic gold, but with the Olympic gold also comes expectations. And, um, and she hasn't been playing that well here in uh, this tournament, in my opinion. Yeah, no, I concur. I covered one of the uh, group matches against Chinese Taipei, and she won. But as you say, not at the level that we have uh, come to expect, which is going to have to raise it today, you would imagine, against uh, Ratchanok in Intanon, who's been one. milking Uber the crowd beautifully so far from what I've seen, really the getting them involved. So uh, she's about to be welcomed into the uh, Impact Arena Ratchanok right now. Intanon. It would be a massive boost for Thailand's hopes if she could get them off to a flyer here and beat Chen Yufei. Have you seen any of Ratchanok's uh, matches so far, Steve? I have. I caught the match yesterday when she faced uh, PB Sindhu and um, uh, she got off to a little bit of a slow start. She's, you will see that she's got a uh, strapping on her right calf and I thought it was significant, but Versus I had to change my mind. China. She actually played really, really Represented well. Represented by Chen Yufei. Well, there is some uh, Chinese support, as you can hear. It's not 100% Thai here in the stadium. So 
Won all four of her matches without dropping a game, Chen Yufei. Uh, only 163 minutes in total of court time so far for her. We're pretty happy memories of playing here, Ratchanok Imtanon, who won the uh, silver medal in the Uber Cup in this arena back in 2018. Well, there you see the head to head. Okay. Uh, it doesn't make Let's particularly do happy reading. Red or black? For Ratchanok Internet. Red for you, black for you. The first single, Japan, represent Japan. This side, Anthony, service, good luck. A real sense of uh, anticipation in this uh, arena ahead of this match. Chen Yifei's already been runner-up in a couple of events this year, the German Open and the Korea Masters. Yeah, I withdrew from um, Korea 500. I think maybe uh, some uh, of the Chinese players uh, were ill in uh, Switzerland and um, was not allowed to travel. That number one ranking for Intanon back in um, April of 2016. She's world champion nine years ago. Where does the where does the time go? The most recent victory on tour was the Indonesian Masters back in 2020. Still in the top ten in the world, as you can see. Well, there are her results so far. Won all three, including yesterday as. Steen mentioned from a game down against PB Sindhu. I do like it when we took not selected. Pro probably rested would be a, a more appropriate word. <laughs> <Yeah. person. laughs> and her opponent on the other side of the net. I'm sure you will know all about. Chen Yufei, currently ranked three in the world. She's also, of course, a former world number one. And playing at international level for China since she was 15 years old. And she had that magic year in 2019 when she won seven major tournaments. There are the four matches she's played, as I mentioned, not really overextended in any of them. Although uh, Wendy Chen gave her a little bit of trouble in their first game. Ready to play? Uh, we have to notice that uh, in the group stage, China was uh, pitted against the uh, Chinese Taipei and Spain, so she could potentially have played Tai Su Ying and Carolina Marin. None of the two showed up to play against her, so she's had it a little bit easier than uh, she normally would have and haven't really been tested yet, uh, in my opinion. Got a glimpse of our chair umpire, who's Ivo Kassel of Switzerland, and the service judge Harriet Sonagabi from Uganda. Well, whoever wins the semi-final of China does go through. Can you fail play either Anse Young or Yamaguchi? So the easy games are over. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, China represented by Chen Yufei.
and on my left, Thailand, represented by Rachanok Indano. Thailand to serve, love all, play. Well, as Steve mentioned, Intanom didn't get off to a good start yesterday, although she came from behind to beat Sindhu. Let's see whether she can start rather more brightly today. playing the second winning singles for Korea in the other semi-final here in the uh, Yuba Cup. That's the line one cover oh. with Chen Yifei in the group. She did seem to have an issue. Some of her uh, judgment calls, she left a lot of shuttles that actually landed in. Yeah, and it's um, got to do with the playing conditions here. I think um, we've got a drift alongside the court coming from Chinofei's side towards Rachinak, and uh, it's actually uh, quite significant here on court one. There's a little bit of difference between court one and two, but here on court one, there's a significant drift alongside the court. There's a slight sideways drift as well, coming uh, from left to right. And uh, as unfortunately, very often, I didn't pay enough attention to the uh, coin toss. I don't know if you saw who uh, selected the side. I just saw that the opponents, uh, or the One. two players, they switched sides. I would expect it to be rash enough to have um, elected the side. It's what I would do if I were her. I would elect to start on the good side and go all out to get a good start then see how things would go in the second game. She could perhaps uh, save some energy and then again uh, go all out for the win in the third. One of the great things about this competition is that the other team entourage, the men and the women, are all, all there supporting the coaching staff, the physios. or the difficulty here for Rachinok, where she, in fact, is uh, Chen Fei, together with Wang Yihan, is the, two, the now retired Wang Yihan from, uh, from China, former world champion. Those two players are the two players that Rachinok Intanon has the worst record against. She's down minus 11 in the head-to-head -head with these two players. And what Chen Fei does so well is that she neutralizes. She's got good defensive skills. She moves well on the oh. court. Um, her attack is not the strongest, but she can neutralize a lot of uh, Rachinak's uh, fantastic shots. Rachinak is now perhaps the best uh, technician, at least one of the best technicians on the tour, but uh, would like to play uh, rallies of sort of middle length as the mode. She doesn't like to play long rallies, she doesn't like to be in the defense. And whenever she starts her first sort of controlling shot, Chen Fei is so good at just neutralizing it, putting it below the tape, taking away the uh, initiative from uh, Rachina Gintanan, and um, she's found it difficult to cope with that. And a few unforced errors from Intanon have allowed Chen Fei to get off to a very encouraging start from her point of view. Patience might have to be a virtue for Intanon today. Yeah. Uh, the willingness to play three extra shots. Seven. Three, three. extra amazing shots to win a rally. Uh, if she doesn't have that, then um, 
it becomes difficult. And there's one more and sort of um, twist here in the plot, and that is uh, Ratchinak is playing First up against over. the Griff now, which is normally seen Four, as uh, an advantage because Chenu Fei then can't play the back line, the back court of uh, Ratchinak Intenon with confidence because she's afraid it will go long due to playing with the drift. But uh, if it's um, a slow shuttle so that uh, Chenu Fei can uh, actually control it, then it can become a, uh, a problem for Ratchinak Intenon to Five, actually kill seven. her smashes, her attacking shots. And then the second game might actually help her when she's playing with the drift. So we don't really know that until we see the shuttle speed. And that's, of course, something that, that brings hope to uh, Ratchinak, even though she's had a little bit of a slow start to the match here. Well, I don't see that too often. Complete this no. from uh, hey. Chinese. Yeah, but we've actually seen it from other. Uh, of the world's very best players here, a sort of miss hit or an air shot, and, and that is because of um, the drifty conditions here in uh, Impact Arena. We've had um, problems with the slippery courts as well. Actually, uh, the courts were changed the night before Nine, yesterday. Six. Court one and two. It was brand new courts that was um, on the arena floor and uh, they were exchanged with uh, two of the practice courts that are a little bit older and uh, more worn and uh, the idea was that um, they shouldn't get as slippery as uh, the very new ones so hopefully that's correct well that's three times now already that Chen Yufei is misjudged nine. this goes to what you were saying about the drift being very difficult to Calculate here. Taken by the sideways drift. I think mid court, in the middle of uh, Chen Fei's uh, side, that shuttle was actually wide left, but then drifted back in.
Well, she got one right finally. So just a two-point lead, though, as they go for the uh, mid-game interval. Be interesting to see if Interon has similar problems in the second game, when she's at that end. So we just saw play. Chinese coach Lu Yigang giving some uh, advice. And uh, he actually took over after Yuba Cup in 2018 when China failed to reach the final for uh, the first time ever. Well, nine. Yeah, their record is absolutely ridiculous. Ten victories. When you think they only began competing in the uh, Yuba Cup in the early 80s. And they've won 10 of the last 12 editions of Chinese on the women's side. 39. Thailand's only final was right here in uh, 2018. They lost to Japan. in that rally from uh, Ratchanak. confidence booster she can start landing some of those that would give Jenny Fei plenty to think about and she's at least not let the Chinese get away in terms of the scoreboard just still only two points adrift so it's over. for Rachinov because and this is not a uh, an Olympic edition of uh, Chen Yufei we're watching at the moment I guess her big goal of the year was um, the Asian Games that was to be played in her hometown in uh, Hangzhou and it's a Jung province but of course um, you might know that uh, that has been postponed Third should have been played in September So uh, a couple of rallies ago, we saw a small slip, in my opinion, around the playing center on the uh, side of uh, Chen Fei. And if she's uh, got difficulties pushing away from the playing center, then it might not be so easy to cope with the attack of uh, Rachinok.
13. Joy and despair in equal measure there on the faces of Chen Yufei and Rational Intelon, respectively. First game is going to be decided, then I think she has a chance of uh, stealing it from uh, Chen and Fei. The risk is that um, there's too many unforced errors. Ended on another over. error by Intanon. Yeah, and I think 40. it's a bad decision from Intanon because we've seen, I mean, Chenufei has tried two attacking shots and they're not really biting, even though she's playing with the drift. So Rachna can basically um, play yes. it a little bit more patient. But trying a uh, deception from uh, that low that is risky. She can, normally can pull it off, but it's. Uh, it's a high-risk shot, and uh, I think she needs to work really, really hard to uh, try and um, and get back into this uh, first game here. Yeah, could have just lifted it, obviously, to the back of the court. Thank you. 17-14. Yeah, exactly. We just played on. Played, that's well played. So it's over. She can simply play the uh, conditions 15, here, Rajinak, and uh, push Chen Yufei to the back court. Doesn't have to play with uh, as high risk as we've seen. And Chen Yufei is not really dangerous from that back court there. Very difficult to judge the uh, direction. No arm swing. Yes. And it comes really, really steep. Beautiful. It seems like Chen Fei has got problems in that uh, deep okay. forehand corner Thank there. 16, 17. She knows she has to be aware of the sideways drift. Play. Fantastic play. Amazing retrieval by Chen Fei. Wow. What a rally. Swung one way and then the other. And you can hear what the crowd think of it because she's on level terms now. Having trailed for virtually the whole of this opening game. They get to the business end and she's right in it. And the, the shot before that one in the same corner, that exemplifies 
the challenge with these two players against all other players. Rajnak would have won it there. She didn't. She had to play more shots, two more shots to win it, and she did so. Jennifer probably needs to take a little bit more initiative, try and control the rallies. On her, all the, on her own side, Chen Fei. That it's really testing the uh, mentality of uh, Rachina Gintanan. She's done everything Eight, right, just a little seven. bit unlucky. Seemed to hit like the main part of the net. It wasn't even the tape, and it yeah. somehow found its way onto Intanon's side. But yeah, got to forget about it. Nothing you can do about those. The Play. audience on uh, Rachinok's side exhaled at the same time it would have stayed on Chin Fei's side, perhaps. Don't play the net. No. Well, that's that's uh, not a good game plan. In terms of uh, Rachinok, why would you play the net where Chin Fei can go for the 50-50 uh, chances if you feel you have the upper hand in uh, open play? Two important points for Chin Fei. Yeah, I think. I mean, she still has to win this game, obviously, now with three game points. But 17. if Chen Yifei had lost it from the position that she was in for most of it, it would have been a bit of a crushing blow. Now, to say, three chances to get the opening game on the board. Instinct was that this may have just clipped, but Hawkeye will adjudicate for the first time today. Yeah, I think you're right, Trevor. But uh, of course, the challenge is uh, the right choice. Only just, only just. The just is good challenge enough. Unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Service over, 18, 20, play. She still has a challenge left. Jennifer, had it been the last challenge, I might have refrained. Had it been me. China 21 18. Game, Very entertaining. There won't be any consolation to Intanon. Who has to try now and find a way to change things around in game two. Flush on the line. Yeah, I'm 
One, 20 seconds. Code one, 20 seconds. Second game. Love all. Play. So 25 minutes for that opening game. Seemed to fly by. That's well left. Don't over. One love. Interlands coach would have One, said to her during that two-minute break between games, maybe, as you were saying, Steena, a tactical change, stop trying to get involved in those net duels. Yeah. Um, now on this side, actually, she might need to do it, but um, I still think uh, Rachnak has a chance here because she's got good technical skills. Uh, best technical players are... Oftentimes, the ones who also play well One. with the drift. I think she needs to put a lot of pressure on the forehand of Chen Fei. Even though um, those two corners, two backhand corners, are fast, it's easy for Rachinok to uh, make mistakes, play too long. Then the forehand corner of Chen Fei is the slowest of the two. And we saw she had trouble in the forehand. So try to put a lot of pressure One. on that corner and attack the backhand side where she gets a little bit help from the sideways drift and then of course uh, play with variation which she always does but um, that is in my opinion the game plan and um, if she's in doubt uh, she can always put it um, high to the back line as, as we see she, she does here um, so over. because Chen Fei's attack is not Two, that dangerous. Three. Open invitation that from Chen Fei, which uh, Intonon was never going to turn down. Four, three. She's a little bit late on this one, uh, Chen Fei, and doesn't get the correct length possible for Intonon to intercept. And, uh, There's a chance. That's all that. was really Four. not fast oh. to that follow-up. I mean, it's clearly the uh, 
Yes. The most likely option from uh, Chen Fei, the straight block there. I also think her clear, Rachnak's clear to uh, Chen Fei's forehand side was a little bit um, too slow. Gave it a bit too much height. The trajectory Thank needs you. to be uh, exactly right so Chen Fei cannot intercept, but also Four. not go oh. long. Wait, that's good. Five, four. Wonderful touch of the net from Chen Yifei. And again, Ratchanak placed from just above floor level and Playing back at the net so close is, is not the right choice. It's easy for us to say up here, Trevor. It's landed in, and that's that um, a good sign for uh, Inter. The more oh. shots she can keep inside the court in that forehand oh. corner, the more in doubt Chen Yufei will be whether the uh, weather reports that uh, she no doubt we have discussed with her coach is correct. Challenge. And again, I think that this is going to be either clipping or wide. I think, I think this is going to be wide. Yeah, maybe. Certainly not flush on the line, I don't think. No surprise that the arm was raised from Chen Yufei straight away. Here it is. Wide indeed it is. Correction out. Service over. Six, five, play. a lot what Ratchner should do then it's because we see her as the underdog in, um, in this match given the 213 head-to-head -head and the loss of the first game here Ball. excellent Service over. Seven, six. shot down the line left uh, into them rather isolated and there was a gaping gap to she exploit she almost gets to it but it's again this the, the quick uh, shot the clip of the racket not a whole lot of arm movement that's what does the trick well fighting fire with fire seven oh the net at all today uh, Ratchanak Intanant yeah. 
and then waiting for the right chance. Several times now that she's used that deceptive shot to the Intanon forehand to good effect. Yeah, because that's the shot where she gets Jane. a little bit of help from the sideways drift. Checking if she can control time. it and play with the right margin, Eight. then it's carried a little bit faster uh, outside the reach of um, Rachinak. Well, this game is following a very familiar pattern scoring-wise the first game. Just doing enough. Keep her nose in front, the Chinese, but Inton is close enough if she can start to up the tempo and up the pressure on the Olympic champion. So at an 11 8 advantage for Chen Yufei as they go for the mid game break. There was one exactly like that, wasn't there, in the first game. Starts out wide of the sideline and then just drifts back. Yeah, and it's really difficult because, I mean, the read is correct for 90% of trajectory. The last 10%, it's wrong. So you have to go against what you normal, what your brain yeah. tells you. Yeah, yeah. Almost feel like you're defying logic a little bit, but we've seen the evidence of it. That's a great shot. 13 a Dire straits for Rajna against an in Thailand at the moment. Well, called in, in, and straight away Chen Yifei wants Hawkeye to have a look. Yeah, 
I think she might be right in this one. Nope. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. 10, 13, play. Hoppered on the tape for what seemed an age and then just apologetically rolled onto Winton on side. That was the first one. And this almost defied the law of gravity. 14 10. Maybe when you see that, you know it's not your day. <laughs> And you realize it's Friday the 13th. I knew you were going to mention it. Yeah. I knew you were. Good retrieving from the tie. Just not happening at the moment no. for Interland. And this is the matchup between these two players in a nutshell. Chen Yufei getting too much back. And then you could say, but uh, is, that, is that a surprise? I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise for, for Ratchanak and her coaches. They should be able to analyze what's going on and say, OK, we need to better the defense. We need to better the patience. Well, there's a microcosm of the match, 16, if ever you needed 10. one. That was a great opportunity, and it was just wild. That, she's just not in a good place at the moment. In the head, I think, in this match. Chen Yufei's got such a good record against her. Four years since she last beat her. There's potentially seven wins in a row for the Olympic champion against the Thai. Sixteen ten. Seventeen ten. And what started relatively promisingly in terms of it was pretty competitive is uh, kind of petering out a little bit now that internal challenge. Yeah, I agree. So Remember, she had 17, 17 all in the first game, one point. 11, 17. All in some butts, though. Then there was this uh, miraculous uh, save from uh, from Chen Fei where she uh, hit the toe of the tape or the middle of the tape and it went over. Good retrieval. It's a fantastic shot from Ratchanak, but. Chen Fei gets to it. Love is over. 18, 11. Seems like she's resigned, Rajanak. Just going to say the, the body language tells you that, doesn't yeah. it? But um, I remember once at the All England when she came back against uh, Carolina Marin, I think it was 1911, won it 21-19. I just don't believe it's going to happen here. 
Yeah, it just wouldn't it wouldn't fit the top of the match, would it? You just don't see well, Intanon being able 90. to string together a run of consecutive points. Made that look ridiculously easy. Eight match points, match points for the Olympic champion 12. to get China off to a flyer in the semi final. <laughs> well, in the end, the score was rather more one sided than most people thought. 21 12 in that second game, the whole thing done and dusted in three quarters of an hour. And just the start that the defending champions wanted and no one could possibly say Match that Chen Yifei wasn't the better player on the day. 21, 18, 21, 12. Almost come to regard the Uda Cup as their personal possession, China. And they are going to be mighty tough to beat, especially now they're in front. 21-18 in what was a tight and competitive first game, not so the second. 21-12 and 46 minutes, the official match time. Up next, we switch to doubles. Kitty Haruko and Prajongjai with a tough ask against the world number one pair, Chen and Jia, coming right up. Well, welcome back to the Impact Arena on semi-finals day at the 2022 Thomas and Uber Cup. China with the early advantage after Chen Yufei's straight game victory over home hope Arachinok Intanon. And it means that there's even more pressure on the Thai doubles pair of Kitty Harakon and Prajong Jai, although their head-to-head -head record against Chen and Jia well, to say it's poor is a huge understatement. 12 previous meetings, and yet to win one. Well, maybe there has to be a first time. Those meetings go back to 2015, incidentally, and in fact, in, of those 12 matches, only one of them has gone to three games. And that was four years ago. 
But hope springs eternal for the home crowd and for these two. Represented by Jongkon Pan Kiti Tharakun and Ravinda Batunjai. China, represented by Shen Qingshen and Jia Yifan. They are a fearsome duo, these two. Silver, of course, in Tokyo at the Olympic Games. And overwhelming favourites to double China's lead here. So we done. And Gray one man from South Africa. Must be psychologically so difficult, Steam, when you you're up against an opponent that you've never beaten. Yeah. You gotta ask yourself this question: What have I improved lately? What am I going to do different? Because otherwise, if you can't answer those with positive uh, Rawinda, affirmations, then you're probably going to get the, the same result as you've red. gotten previously. Well, there is that 12-0 record. Last meeting was earlier this year. You are going to receive. Jai Fan, you are going to serve. They are ranked eight in the world, the Taipei. They were, were up at number six. That was about, about four years ago. I mentioned that last meeting. You saw it on the screen a minute ago in uh, straight games of a German Open. They have won a couple of Super 300s as a pair. The uh, Thailand Masters in 2018. A year later, they took down the Chinese Taipei Open. They actually met in uh, Olympic group game uh, in Tokyo and Prajong Jai and Kitty Haripal only managed 16 points total in that match. Maybe it gives you some idea of what potentially the gap is between these two pairs. Kitty Haripal is 29 now. No shortage of experience. Lost to Pearly Town and Tinamu Lutheran in a group game in, uh, in three games. They won the other two. one in the world and they may be that way for a while these two 24 year olds 2019 world tour finals winners two world championship gold medals they are the current champions already won the german open this year 
Yeah, they were in dire straits in that final against the Stoyva sisters. They actually um, were about to lose it down 7-13 in the decider, but then came back to win it. They've won all three of their matches here in pretty bloodless fashion. There they are, averaging 33 minutes per match. That's not going to make great reading for Kitty Harakul and for Jung Jai. In charge for this one is Andrea Ciappini from Italy, supported by uh, Andre van der Merwe of South Africa. Well, the home supporters doing their best to give this pair some encouragement. Stand by for the umpire's introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, China, represented by Jai Yifan, Chen Chi Chen. And on my left, Thailand, represented by Rawinda Pradunjai, John Kofan, Kitty Tara Kun. China to serve, Jai Yifan, John Colpan, Titi Tarakun, Lavol, Play. Put, put. Sanzola, one, last. He's not satisfied. Put, put, one, last. Well, they seem completely mystified by that. on that Kitty Harakul, but it came at pretty quick uh, rate. Good interception. Three, Kitty one. Harakul. Solid start just to get a little bit of confidence going, maybe sow the odd seed of doubt in the minds of Chen and Jit. Very early stages, obviously, but also has the effect of getting the crowd engaged. I think also perhaps the um, ease. That they won the first uh, of Four. their matches with here in um, the Uber Cup. Um, perhaps they need a little bit of um, exposure to higher level women's doubles to uh, sort of um, adjust Chen 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 and uh, Jai Yifan. I feel that um, the timing could be an issue here. If you're 
dominant in your matches uh, earlier on you haven't really been uh, pushed so that timing is an issue but Jay Yifan who's normally got very very big smash well it's been easy oh. to win the rallies even without it uh, previous on in this tournament here she will need it I think Yeah. I don't think she quite understands how she put it straight into the middle of the net. And Chen, Chen, Chen set her up perfectly with that uh, cross court, cross body smash. Just couldn't convert. Started well today. Jay Yufan started out with that first rally where she got a little bit irritated at um, the umpire for uh, faulting her. Second time she's late on uh, one of those net shots, Jai Yifan. Oh. 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 Yeah, no. fantastic anticipation. Oh. Cute angle. And if you would have to judge from the first 14 rallies who were 12 up in the head to heads, you would uh, select the wrong pair. That's, we all, that's why we all love sport. Never totally predictable. Could have challenged that. I think I would too. Called in. Look like it didn't quite get a piece of the line, and this is a Ten, really healthy lead five. early on for the Taipei. Well, who would have thought they'd be 11 5 in front at the mid game interval? Long way to go. But a very promising beginning for Kitty Herakul and Pejong Jai. One, when 
20 seconds for one 20 seconds. really wasn't in the script. No, not at all. And then he took up the pace, um, Jai Yufan and uh, Chen Ching Chen. They won nine of the last ten points. happened there that um, Chen and Jia sort of realized that um, something more is uh, needed let's see if they can uh, follow up on that rally well if they've stopped the rot but still country mile behind oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Seven, 13. Well, she's fine Hazardous game this badminton thing. Yeah. <laughs> Good service to turn. hasn't set a foot right so far totally rattled going on here. <laughs> they must be thrilled and they are. So far in this campaign, China has only lost two individual games, both of them by Herping Zhao. So finding life tough. Yeah. Oh 
Lord Pajong Tai into trying across defense there. A good play would have been just to play it back to the back inside of Jay Fan. For as long as they could, the two ties eventually had to submit, but it's still a long, long way back. The challenge here in this opening game, and the fact that the vast majority of the rallies are so competitive, it's not like the Chinese pair are dictating the pace or the tempo of the game at all so far. No. Chen and uh, Jia. Question is whether it's enough. Well, that's a handy bonus for them. Don't mind if they crawl across the line rather than charge across it as long as they get there. Six okay. rallies, and of course, it, it, it's also a factor that they might have underestimated their opponent, never having lost to them before. Well, they look re energized, but have they left themselves too much to do here? 14 18, next couple of points would be critical. Good shot. Defense. Well, 
Well, that could be absolutely massive. 15, 19. Just a couple of points required now. Yeah. Well, I agree. This could send the game Thailand's way. Four point cushion. Should be enough. I was thinking 16 might even be enough. 19 16 lead. And here are five game points. Almost inexplicably, inexplicably if you look at the uh, previous matches between these pairs. But what a chance now. For Kitty Havakul and for John Jack. Tape that one from uh, Jay Funk. Well, they still have to get over the line here. Sure, this is wide. It's in the side where Sightwear Drift can take it in, but uh, I think this is because they can rather than because they think yeah. the call was wrong. But we'll see. Great money to end with. It is out, and that is first game to the tie pair. So, this is the 13th meeting, and it's only the second time that they have taken a game from these two Chinese. So that really has got the crowd energized. Yeah, that was what we needed to get the match going. Thank 
คียร์มันออกไปข้างหลังเคียร์มันออกไปข้างหลังเราลองดูเกมกด one twenty seconds กด one twenty seconds Second game, level play. So not used to playing catch up against the uh, Thai pair. Challenge here. See what they can do in the second game. One, Fan was calling on Chen, Chen, Chen to follow up on the other side when she pushed the service return. Second point, they've scored directly on the third shot in the rally. She's going really hot for the short service, uh, Jai Yufan. If they can control the flicks, Two, then that would be three. a really, really good idea for Prachong Jai and Kitty Harakun. The problem is they played with the drift, so it, they basically just have to start it. And it will uh, fly to the first of the... Lines himself, uh, by itself. With a lovely uh, attacking approach there, displaying Prachong Jai and Kitihara Kun. Really uh, playing the chance. Of course, growing in uh, confidence as well. The uh, defense from uh, Jai Yufan. That one. And she got a little bit better chance on uh, the next two shots than she normally would have. Keep pressing Five, the accelerator, four. those two. Thought we might see a 
a very early response from the world number one pair in this second game, but not so far. Yeah, and that was also my uh, thought, but um, I think Pachongja and Kitihara when they played it really, really well. Satsuma, six, the balance now for these two ladies here not to sort of um, accidentally get Jai Yifan started giving her confidence I mean, they can easily play Chen Cheng Chen around the court can easily stand their ground in the defense on this near side of the court easily is perhaps a little bit exaggerated but they can do it so try and keep Jay Fan out of the rallies and then when they have some opportunities then um, go for her and see if they can uh, make the kill. It happened. <laughs> so, so seven, six. Jai Fai serving. Great play. Magnificent play for Kitty Harakun, that uh, net shot there. And the follow up. Seven, they're playing four. with good pace. The two Thailand players. That shot there is magnificent. Supporters are really starting to believe this could be a huge shot. position the backhand side at the back line Chen Ching Chen is very reluctant to attack cross into the backhand of uh, Jai Yifan so I think the ties could probably uh, overcover the uh, straight side a bit that's a good defense yeah that's very disciplined
really working well when they're going for the uh, inner right sideline. Prajong Jai and Kisihara Kun. It's difficult for the Chinese pair to play a good um, defensive reply from there. A lot of pace in the smash, and they have to take care of the sideways drift as well. The one left here by Jia Yifan. Oh, you should slip. Well, at least you can giggle about it, but that could have been nasty. Yeah. yeah. I think when you're when you're going backwards like that, it's it always it's always worse than if you fall forward because you just don't quite know where you are. Yeah. And it seems like she gets up on the side of the soul there. Jai Fan just vanishes under her the left leg, which she's got uh, quite heavy strapping on. They go to the mid-game break, and uh, they're still very vulnerable to the shock here. Chen and Jia. That one. I think we just feel distinctly perplexed at the moment, the two Chinese players. Can't quite yeah. work out why this match is going the way that it is. And again, it's the attack on the uh, outer side of uh, Chen Ching Chen there. Creates the trouble. That one is okay, but you can't get that away. Well, it was a big mistake. She was rolling over on the Thailand side of the uh, court. Eleven. Oh. The coach of the Chinese ladies is uh, Kang Chun Jin, former Korean international. And I, I don't know if he speaks Mandarin, but the interesting thing is that uh, Jai Fan speaks Korean. Aha, uh -huh, that's handy.
this is um, an important phase. I sense that um, if Kitahara Kun and Pajong Jai is to uh, level the tie here, they've got to win it in two, I uh, presume. And to do that, they can't let uh, Chen and Jai get uh, too far away. Score is 13 11, incidentally. We've got a slight issue with our score graphic. Playing it directly into the left hand of uh, Jiang Yufan. That is not recommendable. some daylight on the scoreboard for the first time in their favour in the match, the Chinese pair. And there, Prachong Jai, she should have moved to the right a little bit earlier, should have recognised the situation, possible pressure situation on the other side of uh, Chen Ching Chen. to run out of steam a little bit, aren't they? Two ties. They're going to have to see if they can possibly find a way to their energy back for what looks like a potential deciding game in a few minutes. Yeah, see when they get over the line here. I was sitting with the feeling that they were playing on the very top of their abilities. was how long they were able to sustain it. And the opposition got um, tougher. Chen Jing Chen. <laughs> Top class rally. Experience of the pedigree 
of Chen Jia starting to come to the fore. 50 plus shot rally. Not too many that lengthy. Also means that their own defense gets better, more opportunities, not so easy for the front court player on the, the tie side to um, get involved. So here are seven 20, game points to level the match. Game point, 13. game that we saw, 13. and now you would have to One think that the Chinese pair will go on and win this comfortably, but stranger things have happened. Just seem to have lost the momentum and the energy that they had going for them in that first game, the tie pair. say is if uh, they do come through in this match the Chinese pair you show some character when you are so far below your best and surprisingly lose a game against an opposition you've never ever lost a match to and to just have to work out the issues in mid-match which they seem to have done yeah I think they underestimated 
their opponents. And like we also uh, mentioned earlier, they, they've simply had easy matches so far. Oh, that's good defense. And it was out too. Well, they get the point. Yeah. One. self-protection as well as defense can't believe she missed it she's back Three. in this match One. she's been for a while trying to find she was the one who was off in uh, the beginning of the first game. Chen at the net. Didn't exactly have her racket ready for that one, but uh, managed to uh, get it up really, really quickly. Piece of reaction for the uh, shot that came off the net board actually by Ken, but didn't have any chance really to get to the second one. Good read. Moving forward towards the net. Five, As she anticipates where the shuttle might be coming. Excellent play by Chen Chen Chen. Oh. Sees the quality of Jai Fan's shot and moves immediately. Proactive play. Just 
stay then. Five. Six. Well, that's a bit of a waste. Stand over. Seven. Six. Just be getting a little bit tense out there. Nothing in this uh, deciding game so far. The uh, Chinese pair thought the ties would just lay down. They're wrong. Yeah, so they're basically about to perhaps underestimate them for the second time in the same match. That's well played. Well, first she went too long, now she's too short. Shot. Ten, eight. Well, the level of celebration when they won that point just tells you how tough they're finding it out there. Way harder than I imagined they expected. And they walked out on court. Some uh, 58 minutes ago.
straight down the middle. So a two-point advantage, Nick came in to but they are still in a real battle here. The world number one pair. There will be a challenge. I'm not sure this is going to work. Make it look fine, but white to walk out. Sure, why they were challenging no. that, to be honest. One challenge remaining. So it's going to be a break anyway, so. Very peculiar. This was about the juncture in the second game, wasn't it, when it was. Zier and, and Chen got away from yeah. them. Put it long. What a chance, Ten. man. Well. Defensive stance did um, the ties. Thank you. He so doesn't have a lot of time there on the smash and then the uh, attacking defense, so to speak, becomes really efficient.
big point that for the Chinese pair. Oh, what a fantastic rally. 55 shots. Chen, Chen, no more. Chen, no more. with a smash down the middle, much needed in order to get the front court player involved. Chen Chen wasn't really able to do it when she was at the back court. And we know that uh, Jenny Fan is the more powerful of the two. Well, that'll feel almost like two points, and suddenly there's a big gap on that scoreboard, and the well. tie's looking just a tad dejected. That was phenomenal play from both Chen and Jia, and the huge pressure in that rally. And celebration from Challenger and uh, frustration with Kitty Harakun throwing her racket. the second game. But what a great match Eight, they've played so far. Well, they, yeah, I mean, they've put up a far bigger fight than anyone expected, I think.
most in the white flag quite yet. Particularly convincing, but here are five match points to give China a two love lead in this semi final. They were nowhere near their best, the Chinese pair. Got to give huge credit to Kitty Hamilton and Pajong during that first game. And things looked dicey for a while as the second game started in a fairly tight fashion. But in the end, they just knew enough, they just did enough, saw off the brave challenge of the ties. And now just one match, match away China. from yet another Uber Cup final. 21-13. 21 15. <laughs> Nearly an hour and a quarter on court for that match, which is a lot longer, I think, than most observers expected. <laughs> Confirmation of the final score Chen and Jia win. 17 21, 21 13, 21 15 in 73 minutes on court. Up next, back to the singles. It's Paul Pumi Chuchu Wong against Herbing Zhao in a moment.
You're watching our continuous coverage of the 2022 Thomas and Uber Cup. It is Uva Cup semi-finals day here. Thomas Cup semis to follow later, but we're with the women initially. And it's two love now in China's favour against Thailand. Just one more victory required for a place in tomorrow's final. And it's time for more singles. This match bringing together Form Poe Cho Chi Wong against He Bing Chao. Just one place separating these two on the rankings. Although, as in the previous couple of games, there is a big disparity on the head-to-head. 9-2 in He Bing Chao's favour in matches over the tie. Officials are on court, so the players will be joining them very shortly. On court one, Uber Cup semi-final, the second single, Thailand, represented by Pan Pawi Cha Shu Wong. Well, the last hope, as far as Thailand are concerned. She has to win this match. Otherwise, it's all over. Versus China, represented by He Bingjiao. So here comes He Bingjiao. Really talented left-hander who's had already two tournament successes this year. These two actually met in the uh, Uber Cup back end of last year. And her being Chow won in straight games. But there's the sorry China, scenario as far as uh, Cho Chi Wong's concerned. Black, red for you. It's red. This side. Service. Twenty-four years of age now, uh, Cho Shu Wong. That uh, ranking is her best ever. She just before that, knew the cup match I mentioned last October. She'd won the previous meeting against her Bing Xiao, the All England. And the silver at the World Junior Championships back in the day. And of course, famously beat Carolina Marin in her own backyard, so to speak, when she won the final of the 2020 Spain Masters. She's won all four. Went three games in the group match against uh, the Danes and Lena Christofferson. Herbing Chow's just a year older than her opponent to get today. She was up at number six. That was four years ago, though. So the left hand has gone down a couple of places since then. I think she originally started getting intense badminton training when she was just seven years of age. And she won a Youth Olympic gold. A couple of World Championship bronze medals. Part of the uh, Uber Cup gold team here. Or rather in uh, Aarhus. And she's already won the German Open and the Korean Masters this year. Took three games to get past uh, Prezista and Sung Shou Yun, although 
That persists the result. I, I guess in, in horse racing parlance, um, Steen, I, I guess you could say the the form's been franked rather because Pazistra, of course, beat Yanaguchi the other day. Yeah, it's um, a really good result by the young Indonesian team. Ready to play. That was Janlin Fundal of the Philippines, who's our service judge. Iris Matspalo of Estonia is in the umpire's chair. And about to do the player introductions. On my right, Thailand, represented by Borbavi Cho Chuwong. And on my left, China, represented by Herbing Chow. China to surf, love all, play. So a match that Thailand have to win if they want to keep their Uber Cup hopes alive. Service over, one long. placement from uh, Herping Zhao and uh, just like uh, both Chen and Fei but also in fact um, Jia and um, Chen whom we just saw this is uh, you, you can't really say it's the first real test because Herping Zhao has lost two games so far in this campaign but um, it's the first established top player that she's um, facing and I wonder if that has um, sort of meant something for her preparation so that we see uh, a, Ch a Chinese player that's more ready Three. here than she perhaps One. has been in the um, previous matches I haven't seen any of her matches so I'm very curious to see as to whether she slowed down a little bit she played very well in uh, Korea Open um, or uh, it has simply been the um, focus and concentration that has lacked a little bit, getting used to the playing conditions here in uh, Impact Arena.
was in by pick margin. And she started very promisingly here. Thought you won. Five, two. And the signs that she perhaps is the uh, strongest Thai women's singles player at the moment, even though ranked a couple of places below Rachina Kintanen won the last encounter between those two. from uh, Cho Chuang towards the backhand side of uh, Ping Pingzhou. Five, six. on both sides. Yeah, you know as soon as you do that, it's not going to end well. Sinks. Leave it, leave it, and I'm going to play it. And that was as easy a put away as you'll see. And back within a single point, the Chinese. Good as Nine, I expected, uh, Ping Zhao. She's playing up against the drift. Chuang with the drift, of course, and uh, it's like she's not really trying to um, sort of chase Cho Chuang around the court. She's more playing like a regular playing style. Good net play, excellent. Six. 
Joshua Jewell, the same age as Chen Fei. Played each other in the World Junior Championship final. And Chen Fei as the winner. Well, it's a big lead. Yeah. Uh, so looking decent this first game to keep the tie alive at least. One for we touch you on. Herbig Zhao rather needs a distinct improvement if he wants to get back into this opening game. Sniper Swift. Good shot. Clip of the racket there. Not a whole lot of arm movement. That's very efficient. Oh, is she slipping a little bit there? Looked like she did just, yeah, you know, give way a little bit. That one of those uh, legs. So I think she's fine. In action off the serve. Challenge unsuccessful, one challenge remaining. Nine, twelve. There's a couple of uh, easy mistakes from uh, Chu Chu on there. Make it three.
was something like 12-6, oh. wasn't it, at one point? And now, Hunting Chow starts a very spirited comeback, yeah. albeit aided by some errors on the other side of the net. I don't know what's happened uh, at the mid-game interval, but it seems like um, something is playing on the mind of um, Pong Pavi, Cho Cho Wong. Almost one trying to outdo the other in terms so of solar. finding an angle, but it was a, an excellent winner. From Chocho Wong, in turn of the wrist. No chance for Herbin Zhao to get there. Opportunity. Good time just to go off the board a little bit. 17, Three straight points for her big shout. Um, it's very peculiar. It's 11 3 for her big shout since the uh, interval. This has happened to Cho Cho Wong's game. And now she's confident. Hoping Jao. It's amazing how quickly the momentum can change in a game of badminton. It really is. It's a clever man who once said self confidence is a very fragile thing. I uh, believe he was actually completely spot on.
suddenly her Bing Zhao timing is also spot on. Whereas um, in the beginning of um, this match, it looked like uh, it was off. Wasn't really uh, prepared for the conditions, but um, certainly grown into them. So here are five game points for Herbie Zhao. Game point 15. Just 18 minutes on court. It's 21-15. Despite the fact that Cho Chuang had a big lead at the uh, midway point. 11-6, I think it was. 11-5, 11-6. But it all went south for her in the second half of the game. So one more game required then to get China through to the final. So last chance here for Thailand who have to win this game in the shape of Tochuan to extend things any further. That one so at the net, um, hoping to have good pressure long. from uh, Chu Chu Wong here. Mm -hmm. In the first game, that perhaps we ought to regard um, Chu Chu Wong as the currently best female single player from uh, Thailand. And I guess the same could be said about uh, Hoping Zhao that um, she, in this spring, has been the better playing. Chinese uh, women singles player. Even though it's uh, Chen Yufei who's uh, in the first women singles and the Asian champion Fang Ji Yi in, uh, in the third. Super touch there in Chuchu Wong. Attack from 
Her Ping Chow, she gets a little bit of help from the sideways drift there. If she can play with Morgan like that, then uh, there's a lot of points lying there waiting. fitness level but um, she's definitely improved and uh, now these super technical skills is uh, Three, four. sort of amplified by the fact that she's uh, a bit taller than some of the other um, short technicians we have here in um, the world of uh, women's singles badminton Okuhara Yamaguchi Taisu Ying she actually has a big smash, hoping Zhao. Yeah, five foot seven. A bit lucky on that last point. She wouldn't have got anywhere close to it had it been no. an inch uh, closer to that back line. So, from yeah. her big chair might give uh, Cho Cho Wong a bit of confidence. Six, four. Mind you, she had a, I mentioned she had that big lead halfway through the opening game and lost it convincingly in the end. wasn't it from her big chair
fantastic rally this one. Again, uh, struggling a little bit in the net game. She was so strong in the uh, beginning of the match at the net. Cho Cho Wong. I wonder if the uh, drift is so severe that it's uh, sort of disturbing the touch of the players when they're playing up against it like uh, Cho Cho Wong is now. It seems like she's not applying enough power, staying on her own side. Jail's very quick around the core. Nine, and fitness levels six. are excellent. Yeah, it's it's improved a lot since um, before COVID. Spent the time well. And that's great. Sometimes uh, it seems like it's easier to improve fitness level than players with not so great technical skills as Herping Zhao has uh, improving their technical skills. So silver, seven, nine. Sports people are pretty resourceful. All kinds of training methods were uh, kind of invented during COVID when there was such restrictive movement. Yeah. and restarted and uh, the players were in uh, lockdown for several days before the tournament started and uh, they had all kinds of uh, skipping ropes and stuff doing exercises in the, the hotel rooms i'm sure i'm sure some someone sort of made a sort of mini net and put it across the bed i mean yeah. <laughs> something like that meanwhile uh, it's a four-point advantage for Herbing Chow at the mid-game interval. And unless Tochi Wong can find something and find it quickly, this time may not last that much longer. This is really impressive. 
aggressive and yet tactically very astute. Too much time she's leaving there. Chu Chu Wong. Spent too much time on the back court, uh, Her Bing Jiao. It's really, really finds it difficult to put her under pressure. Does uh, Chu Chu Wong. And the thing is that uh, Her Bing Jiao's attack is uh, arriving a split second faster on Chu Chu Wong's court now. So. In dire straits at the moment. So it's over. <laughs> Never reminded to herself not to do that again. Hoping John. up and down on her side of the court trying to loosen up. It's going wide. Yeah, the body language tells the story, doesn't it, for both women, actually. It's amazing, isn't it? Both these games have gone a similar way. Cho Chu Wong started pretty well, and she's just kind of capitulated totally, the second half of each totally game. Totally gone off boil. Having fun. Great retrieving again. Uh. So it's over. Sending out a message that she's not quite finished yet. Still got a big deficit to overhaul, but that's three points on the spin. And this, uh, this rally had potential to be repeated. She, that shot there, where she's pushing it to the back nine corners. Not too high, trajectory wise. And then attacking. And that's the thing that. Uh, she needs to do Chu Chu Wong. She cannot play too passive because then Her Bing Zhao will take the initiative. And again. Maybe game on again. She's 
looking. I was a little, was a little nervy, that one. Yeah, but, but uh, 30, remember the rally? 16. A couple of um, rallies ago where I mentioned that I thought her big jaw was playing like she was having fun and she needs to get back in focus. Opened the door for uh, Cho Cho Wong. In my opinion, it's gone long. Yeah, for sure. Chocho Wong's game at the moment, moving faster. Good retrieval. Well, that was a big point, I think, yeah. for Herbie so Jazz, just to stop the run. Get her a point near with the Magic 21. It just takes some of the wind out of Chocho Wong's sails, the way she Fought her way back into this game. Chuang here to the uh, forehand side of her Ping Zhao. Necessary so to uh, keep the court open. And I wouldn't be surprised if we could see 15, a winner or two 17. go down the backhand side whenever an opportunity occurs. And the energy that Chu Chuang has shown in the last uh, five or ten minutes kind of got into it. The teammates. Now that she's back in business here, potentially, just a couple of points down, having fought back from way behind. And now she's gone on the attack. It's the last two points that she scored, her big challenge been that straight smash down the forehand side. 18, 15. Chuchu stands. It was like she was expecting a cross smash. Well. Even though it's a three-point lead, just the momentum of the match doesn't seem to be a done deal just yet. Oi, 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 she slips. But uh, Cho Cho Wong can't keep it inside the line. Hope she didn't injure herself there. Hoping Zhao. <laughs> Always hurts a bit less when the 90. shuttle goes out. Much less. <laughs> You almost roll over one more time. <laughs> so on the cusp here, 1915. And here are five match points to send China into the final yet again.
It's gone wide. But it was Daniel called in, and she's obviously in. challenging. I thought that was wide, Steve. I was with you. Well, let's see what Hawkeye says. It's out, and that is the end. 21-15 again in the second game, as it was in the first. And it means that China are through. Three love again, as they did in the quarterfinal yesterday. Cho Chuan gave it all she had. And there were parts of this match where she was the better player match early on, especially in the China, first game. 21, but uh, her Beijing... 21, 15. And she's touched her, her, uh, her Ping Zhao. Big emotions. She had a very good view of that. That was why the hand went up straight away, I think, to get the review in. So it's another bloodless win for China, albeit maybe not quite as easy in the uh, second game as some might have thought. But here, 21-15, 21-15, 44 minutes, the official match time. So just to recap then on what we've seen over the last three hours or so, uh, fairly straightforward for Chen Yufei, especially in that second game against Ratchanok Intanon. It had been close in the opener uh, until Chen Yufei basically showed a class late on. In the doubles, this is probably the biggest story of the day because uh, the world number one pair of Chen and Jia, they were really up against it here. Kitty Harakun and Prajong Jai won the first game. Uh, after that, though, they couldn't maintain it. And as we've just seen, Herming Zhao with a straight game victory over Paul Poe Cho Chu Wong. Maybe not quite as straightforward as the scoreline suggests, but China safely through to tomorrow's final. Will they play Japan or Korea? I'd have to wait and see, although that might be finishing fairly quickly. I don't think China really will care. They'll be massive favourites against either of those other two nations. That final, of course, is tomorrow. You can see it here live with us. Don't forget to tune in for India-Denmark uh, later on in the uh, Thomas Cup semi-final. For now, though, for myself and from Steve, it's goodbye.